Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what God wants you to know. Mm, Nine of Pentacles. Ace of... Wow. Did you see that? That's like fire. I'm going to take those three. Come on now. I'm hearing like, who's lucky? Who's lucky now? <laughs> who's lucky now? Who's looking now? <laughs> Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. There are so many gifts and offers coming to you. I'm getting rich girl syndrome. I'm getting, and I'm not just talking about financially rich. And the reason I'm saying that is because I, this Ace of Cups is right in the middle of these, these pentacles, okay? Whew. Mm. I just need to breathe for a second. Let me know where your Scorpio placements are in your charts, okay? Could be Mars, could be Aquarius and Mars energy. It could be, you know, sometimes... You know, it could even be Mercury in Aquarius, okay? Whew. I'm just trying to make somebody feel good who's watching this video. This is amazing energy. It's just like those, when you were wondering, what were you wondering about? What were you worried about? What were you, you were not, you were not, I don't know if you know this about yourself, but you were not, like, not doing anything or not focused or even stressing out you were actually strategizing and now it's like you're starting to see this the fruits of your labor there's so many options and i'm also hearing that someone is seeing signs and synchronicities about you someone someone is really feeling drawn to you could be a Pis cancer pisces scorpio gemini aquarius libra yeah it is it is kind of like you you getting what you want in a way and then being like um i don't know if i really want that i don't know if that is that what i really want but you do and for some of you I do feel like there there is this um you're spending more time in the physical world and less time like in your head okay that's for some of you i'm trying to say something that i i just i don't even know if i can say so yes there was a lot of time of you like just fantasizing about a person fantasizing about a situation and now you're finally coming out you're you're getting out and you could even you could even be feeling like you wasted a lot of time you know how like young boys kind of like fantasize and watch stuff like that type, like that type of energy is being freed from your energy that's if you are a masculine watching this you're not really interested in watching can i say pornography i'm not even sure you're not interested in that you are interested in finding your soulmates, meeting up with the one and being in the right place at the right time. You're also being guided to not overanalyze the situation. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just said that. That's literally like what this card means. Um, if you... You're not going to miss out on your opportunity. I'm not going to lie. There's a fear of missing out. And it's like you're just right there. If you're having trouble with your thoughts or the way you think, the way you speak about others and yourself, just kind of reel that energy in. Virgo energy. Aries Leo Sag energy. Gemini, Aquarius, 
Libra energy is definitely standing out. So some of you could be dealing with another Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra. Pisces energy. You feel like you were made a sacrifice for whatever reason. And you might be feeling like, when is it my turn? It's your turn when you say it's your turn. And you might have even had to sacrifice something. You might have even had to... Yeah, but I do feel like in the end, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. This led to some sort of spiritual awakening. Now you're awakened and you're starting to manifest the things that you want. So right now is the time for you to be focused on that. That you're getting and like being in this place of gratitude. Oh my goodness. Look at this emperor. Some of you are literally about to manifest your soulmate, your divine counterpart. You could be going from empress, from this nine of pentacles to empress energy and then meeting your emperor at some sort of celebration it's just a time to like keep your vibe high if you've been on this high frequency wave that's the only wave you need to be on and i'm just saying that because there was a huge sacrifice because I keep hearing sacrificial lamb, sacrificial lamb. And someone was, they really did like put your life on pause and fuck your shit up, you know? And sometimes people, they, they're not going to take accountability for it. They're not going to give you an apology. They're not. So if you have been losing sleep over some sort of past situations, some sort of past traumas, and I often see the hangman as an egoic type of energy rather than so angelic. It's like releasing this ego and realizing that you are more than just your physical body and really uh, mastering the laws of the universe and understanding, oh my God, recognizing those dark thoughts and that dark energy. I do believe that Uranus and Saturn actually rules Aquarius. So, you know, that's an intense combination astrologically in and of itself, you know? So, yeah, I guess basically it's almost over and you can pass the torch of your drama to your angels. They want to like come in and like rescue you this spiritual team this higher consciousness this i'm hearing like spiritual tribe it's like they want to know you they want to get closer to you and they want you to ask them for help right oh i love this you are about to be in the right place at the right time and remember to I'm hearing to ask for help when you need it. If, if there's something you can't do, you're going to be able to afford it. And if finances aren't an issue, if it's something that you need to experience, like you feel like you've reached some sort of cap in your, your spirituality and your level of knowledge, there's going to be some sort of expansion with this energy, okay? It could be with a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, okay? So someone else or even yourself and make sure that you don't, don't try to know too much. I don't know why that's coming through. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like, don't try to know too much because then it's gonna make you run you know it's gonna make you go to a situation that you should probably stick around for okay i know it's tempting for you to like kind of <laughs> enjoy the ride 
<laughs> Go with the flow, make a new wave, right? It's a new day. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. I think that you should really try to stick around with this energy, Aquarius, okay? Yes, this Knight of Wands. There's so many options. There's so much to do. And try not to escape from, like, your, in, like, what is, what is the word that I'm looking for? Try not to escape from this. this flaw that you have within yourself there's there's some sort of energy that it's hidden i don't think a lot of people know about it i don't think that you share it like maybe you're not as optimistic sometimes as people think you are you know it's like that could be a flaw right um it's just like mm, i'm seeing you quite possibly miss out on an opportunity if you're not focused and channels in this higher frequency energy if that's making sense right if that's making sense yes you don't have to feel on all the time you don't have to feel on point all the time you don't have to feel ready all the time the universe is literally like you're so smooth and what even when you're being inauthentic even when you're not being yourself even when you're not Feeling the wave and the vibe, the universe is like le legit matching your energy to the point that you're like, okay, fine. I guess like I only have like 40 uh, minutes to be pissed off. I can't be mad all day. It's like you get matched so quickly. And then as soon as you switch your energy from like being in a bad mood to an amazing mood, you know, where you're having these negative experiences, all of a sudden, it's like two minutes later. You're like, I'm going to let that go. It's all good. I'm already healed. And then you get blessed. Like crazy blessed. Like you're just totally aligned right now with the universe. Some of you could be seeing the number 13. Some of you could be seeing, oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm just seeing judgment. I'm seeing the emperor again. Listen. This is the time for you to just be like, woosa, okay? <laughs> it's all good. Come again, all right? Creating your reality the way you want it to be and no one else's Aquarius, okay? Anyways, and look at that. I just, I was like, okay, we're going to just like, we're going to end this and we're going to close out. Look at that. Six of Wands. <laughs> Because every day is a movie with you, period. <laughs> it literally is. I mean, what can I say? What can I say? Even when you're off, you're on. <laughs> you probably got a lot of haters. Oh, let me know if you have haters. It's okay. It's like... <sighs> You always have to be on, like, what? You can't have one off day, off set, like, off the energy, like, off the chain, like, outside. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm not encouraging you to be negative or anything like that. I'm just saying it's okay to enjoy your off day because you are a super high vibe. That's the wave. That's the vibe, Aquarius. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, namaste.